I spent part of my evening in Austintown, checking on three businesses, all of which have been affected in one way or another. One deals in food, one with automobiles, and another with fitness, and all had different stories to tell. Sisters Heather Berardo and Nicole Lawrence decided to leave Newton Falls to shop in Austintown when they noticed the Molnar's concession stands now open on Mahoning Avenue. When you miss the carnival, hey, that's, you get what you we get. We love carnival <laughs> food, so. Yep. Oh, you love carnival food, I so this was carnival. a chance to yes. get it? Yep. We've had a steady line mostly all day. Faith McGee is co-owner of Molnar's, which has 14 concession trailers, which on most summer weekends are all busy. But McGee still doesn't know what's happening this year. So we're just waiting to hear what happens. It's a very scary situation for us because this is our livelihood. You know, we're all wearing that um, when we're not having this kind of social distance. At Greenwood Chevrolet, owner Greg Greenwood redesigned his showroom. All the vehicles are gone, replaced by six-foot tables with chairs at each end. Plexiglass dividers also separate salespeople and customers, and chairs behind yellow lines mark six feet. In two weeks, Greenwood has sold 100 vehicles. Now he's concerned about getting more. They haven't built a car in five to six weeks in North America, to my knowledge. Um, so that's really critical. It's been hard. It's been hard on all the members. At Body Shop Total Fitness in the Wedgwood Plaza, owner Mike Stanick and his daughter Caitlin, who's the manager, have been closed for six weeks. They've received a federal loan that's helping, but they're also making plans when allowed to reopen. Social distancing is still going to be a huge factor. We plan on limiting the amount of people allowed inside at once. Also spacing out equipment. Um, members are going to be required to clean their machines before and after each use. During his briefing today, Governor DeWine hinted that he may have details next week on the reopening, not only of gyms, but also restaurants, salons, and daycares.